Welcome back to my channel, everyone. You see that right there? We're gonna take a trip down memory lane because guess what? So I found this variable bush vipers first shed from those years ago when I bred them. First shed, look how tiny this is. So we're gonna go through all my old footage when the bush vipers were born. Look at that. So cute how tiny they were. So are y'all ready to see it? Baby footage? Old footage? Bush vipers? Let's get to it, come on. Before we look at the babies, let's look at the parents. The red one is the male, the green one is the female. So at the time we were in California visiting family and I came home to this. That was the first picture I ever took. Now going through everything, I realized I didn't take many pictures at, at the beginning, but here are a few of the first pictures I ever took of them. A few different colors. This one's awesome. Almost looks gray. But check out this bright yellowish gold one. It's so beautiful. It was amazing to see the differences in colors. I mean, how cute is this? Look how tiny they are. It's just so cute. Here's a little baby one drinking some water. Adorable. Now there are seven total, four of the yellowish golden ones, and then three of the grayish bluish ones. Now these pictures, I took pictures of them separately and edited them together, just so you can see a comparison. This had been after a few sheds, so they had changed color a little bit. It was just cool to observe the differences in the colors and how it changes over time. Now I've mentioned before on here, the yellowish ones turned red like the dad and the grayish bluish ones turned green like the mom but look how cute these tiny babies are on these little plants adorable So the first thing I did was separate them all into separate containers. Started, you know, feeding them, making sure they shed everything. The thing about variable bush vipers, they're good eaters. So it's pretty easy to get them to start feeding, but it takes patience. And you'll see that some of them don't eat. At least one of them, I believe, would not eat and had to resort to different method that you will see in a picture later on. So some of it I had to cut up to be small enough for them to eat. But look at this beautiful bush viper. Look how quick this one eats. This isn't even sped up. So a few of these little grayish ones would eat so quickly, made everything fast, fast and easy. I am speeding this one up though, so don't be confused, this one isn't in normal speed. Now of course as they grew a little bit, they were able to take full pinky mice. So I believe this was, I don't know how long it was until this point, but able to take a full pinky mouse. But here's another older one, had to cut this 
piece of mouse up small enough for it to eat. Did you see that strike though? Flipped over on its back. As I went to get all this old footage, I realized the only stuff I really filmed were the feedings, and that's pretty much it, and then only a few pictures. Now, as I mentioned, they're typically very good eaters, but some, of course, are not destined to make it. Some are going to need more assistance, and as last resort for one of them, had to do this. Had to force feed. Now, this is a stressful situation for the snake. Horrible. I hate doing this, but it had to be done. And still. And there was another one, too, that had neurological issues. This one right here, as you can see, it can't even hold its body upright. So this one ended up not making it. And there was another one that also did not end up making it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed taking this little look back at all these baby squams, variable bush vipers. I only kept two of them, the two that you see on my page. Now I have a new male. So hopefully there'll be more baby footage in the future. Love you all. Subscribe for more. I'll be back soon. Thank <laughs> you.